Greetings and blessings all. I'm Jonathan Crook, the Archdiocese of New York School Storyteller, here with the tale of Saint Kieran. Once upon a time, a little hawk swooped down and picked up a baby bird right out of its nest. Kieran gasped and cried, I pray you will drop that little bird. And wonder of wonders, the little hawk let go of the little bird. Kieran caught it and returned it to the nest. It was a little miracle. When Kieran was a young man, Patrick had come to him and said, Now, Kieran, you're going to go to Ireland and to begin to tell people of the ways of our good, loving God, of Jesus Christ. But first, take this little bell and travel through Ireland until you come to a place where you will make our first church. You'll know the place when you hear the bell ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling ring. I'll go. I'll do it, said Kieran. And don't say a word until the little bell rings. And off went Kieran. Some say he wandered far and wide and wide and far and maybe didn't speak for years. But eventually he found his way to the sleevy blue mountains. And there, in a deep, dense forest, the bell rang. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. -ling. Here, in the middle of the woods, I'm to make my church? Well, I'll get to it. Oh, but first, I'd best make a little shelter for myself. Kieran began to break down branches and make them into a little hut. His stomach grumbled. He only found roots and nuts and berries to eat. But he made the best he could with it all. And he sat under his little ramshackle of a hut and prayed, oh, that made things get better. Well, the answer to his prayer came with a thrash, crash, bash. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. There appeared a great tusked, wild ah, boar. Oh, I pray, I pray you leave me alone, brother boar. I pray, I pray you will leave me to my peace. Please, Brother Boar? Well, Kieran made his prayer in such a sweet, calm way. Not only did the boar stop snorting and charging, it stayed with Kieran. And it even began to help him break down branches for his hut. And Kieran said, Brother Boar, you are going to be my very first monk in our monastery. And the boar indeed became a very good monk. It did all of its chores and helped Kieran, and it even drew others who came to be monks. Odd monks, for among the monks came a fox, a badger, and a deer. Well, they all lived with Kieran in peace. But the fox made a little mischief. We all make mischief now and then, for we're all sinners at one time or another. The fox got hungry for meat, and it ate 
Kieran's shoes. Ran away with them. Kieran had to send Brother Badger to bring back the fox. And the fox came back. Its tail's between its legs. I think it said, Sorry about that, but I was hungry for meat. And then Kieran made a little prayer and said, I know it's not meat, but why did you try that bark? And the fox did, and it tasted rather good to the fox. And Kieran said, See, God takes care of the littlest bird, the fox in the field, and you and me. And after a while, Patrick, when he came to Ireland, he found Kieran living deep in the woods, just beginning to build his church. And that place is still there, a place quiet enough for you to go and listen to the birds, see the animals, maybe even that fox and badger and deer and the wild boar. But even if you don't see them, listen. And you too may hear the still, sweet, small voice of the one who made us all. And that's a story of St. Kieran. Thanks for listening.